why, what is it that, that drives us to search for improved breast cancer screening methods in women at average risk? It actually, we are established in women at high risk of breast cancer to use additional screening. But for the average risk uh, woman, currently you could argue that even mammography is under debate. So what is it that we, um, that we try to find out with this study? And uh, the most important uh, say, issue around mammographic screening is the fact that um, we overdiagnose breast cancer. And that is due to the increasing um, rates of calcifications that we diagnose through our mammographic screening. And these calcifications undergo biopsy and are ultimately uh, found to be due to DCIS, frequently low grade DCIS. And it's well established that at least about 10% of the um, cancers, including DCIS, that we diagnose through screening mammography um, will be overdiagnosed cancers. In other words, cancers which, even if left untreated, would never progress to a life-threatening disease. Um, now, if you step back and look at the way we diagnose breast cancer, be it on mammography, but also on um, other radiographic breast imaging methods, which would be, for example, tumor synthesis, um, then we depict regressive changes. We depict architectural distortions, speculations, calcifications, which are usually um, due to pathophysiological changes that um, reflect slow growth or even cell death. In other words, necrosis, hypoxia of a tumor. If that happens, then you um, get to see these architectural distortions of fibrosing um, reactions that we detect with mammographic screening.